for their own good. Once upon a time, a child may feel unsafe, distressed, even afraid. Calling for help may bring relief, no change at all, or further grief. Soon a child may learn to hide their fear and shame, to cover their startled face, even to pretend to be brave. The anxious child may see others who are relaxed, then feel desire, envy, and hate. Why not just relax? Why not join and play? The child says, I fear the unknown, like what happened yesterday. I imagine that may happen again, so I call it the unknown, okay? They voice frustration as they watch the others so relaxed. Resentment builds up to contempt, for no one understands me at all. They withdraw. They isolate. They would keep others distant. Why? They fear that their fear will be seen. That's why they love the dark. Soon the child shouts, I've found it now. Come look, I've finally seen the light. Next, the same frightened child approaches others, shining a blinding brightness right in the eyes of all who dare come near. The child proclaims, I've overcome the darkness. Look how relaxed I am. If no one looks more than one second, they all believe and say, show me, let me see. So religions form to find a cure for darkness. People line up for miles and miles. They crave salvation from fear and shame. For magic to make the unsafe safe. Come to our ritual, ours is best. Anyone with faith will be saved. Thus, those who are not saved must lack faith. Faith is not the result, but the pathway. They worship scriptures and sing songs. What do those scriptures say? Faith is the result of salvation, not the path to salvation. But who reads that stuff anyway? I mean, who do you really think you are to read it? Worship does not imply study. Private study breeds curiosity and confusion. That's why those who question must be punished with teasing, torture, exclusion, and eternal damnation. Not necessarily in that order. To save the children from the hell of fear, we must teach them to hide it in shame. It's for their own good. Don't you agree? You do agree, don't you?